In this video, I'll show you how to find the equation of a line that is tangent to a graph. And we're given those instructions. Find the equation of the line that is tangent to the graph of y equals x to the third minus 3x when x equals 1. So let's sketch this first. Let's sketch the graph of y equals x to the third minus 3x. So I'm going I'm to build this up. So I'll show just a little coordinate plane and this is going to be a pretty rough sketch but you'll get the idea it's a cubic goes like that Let's put some hash marks here because I know where this is going right there we'll call that one we'll call that negative one and this is a rough sketch of of the uh, of the function of the graph or <laughs> of the equation and we want to know an equation of the line that is tangent to this graph when x equals 1. Well, the tangent line, here's when x equals 1, right here. So at this point, the tangent line, remember, is that line that just, just touches the graph. So it's going to look like that. Now, I have a rough sketch here, but it sure does look like the uh, slope of that tangent line is going to be 0. We'll find it using some calculus, uh, so so that we don't we're not just guessing here. But uh, it it looks like that that slope is going to be zero. We're going to find that it is using some calculus. Now, the slope the slope is synonymous with the first derivative. So if if you don't have that uh, already uh, kind of ingrained in your head, start thinking of that. The first derivative is, is synonymous with the slope of of the graph. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find the first derivative so that I can find the slope. So uh, let's do that. So we've got y prime. y prime equals, that's the first derivative, is 3x squared minus 3. All right, y prime. What about when x equals 1? Well, let's do that. Let's say when when x equals 1, then what is the slope? We're saying what is the slope when x is 1. So y prime of x or y prime of 1 now is 3 times 1 squared minus 3. Hey, look at that. The slope is 0. That's the slope of this line equals 0. Now, what we also need when we are uh, writing an equation of a line is not just the slope, but we need a point and the slope. So we need a point We'll call it x sub 1, y sub 1, and the slope. We, we got the slope first in this case, and now we need a point, x sub 1. Well, we have the x equals 1, so I'll just write that in there right here. That's our 1. What's our corresponding y sub 1? Well, plug, plug x in here, in, in for 1, and you get 1 minus uh, 3, right? I'll just do that off to the side here real quickly. That's y of 1 equals 1 to the third minus 3 times 1. So y of 1 equals 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay, so we've got a negative 2 here. So now we have a point and the slope. And we can plug that into this general form of the equation of a line y minus y sub 1 equals m, the slope, times x minus x sub 1, where y and x stay as the variables. Let's see, you have y minus our negative 2. So y minus negative 2 equals 0 is our slope that we found. I, I know that uh, you may already know that, hey, this is a horizontal line. We don't need this this big elaborate equation, but I'm, I'm doing this for purposes of demonstration because you might have something that is not a slope of zero. So I'm kind of uh, doing, doing this for a couple of reasons. First of all, so that you're not freaked out if you get a slope of zero. And if you get a different slope for a different problem, I want you to know that this is how you would find the equation of the line. All right, let's continue then. x minus x sub 1, that's our 1. Now, the right-hand side, you've already guessed it, I talked about it, that's going to be wiped out, right, because we've got that, that 0 there. So that's, that's all 0. But then we have y plus 2. So I have y plus 2 
equals zero because minus a negative is plus is plus two, and then y equals negative two. So that's our line. Y equals negative two. That's that's what we have here. Now this graph is was a sketch, and uh, let, let's put a couple of tick marks in there. So I've got that's negative one. That's negative two. So this is um, it's it's not it's not a, a box. I I guess you would say it that the one horizontal on the x-axis is bigger than the than the one on the on the vertical axis but the point is that we have this equation of the line that is tangent to this uh, the graph of this equation